What's the paladin? What's today's date? Tax day. It is. Oh, oh shit. I got to start up a, a meeting as well. Good thing I got my earbuds in for it. Even a condos is online today. Oh. Take a seat. <laughs> I was seated earlier. There's he, Condis. All right, let's do this thing we call Friday. Quiet on the set. Set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. As the Oracle foretold, two idiots who would misinterpret the news so you don't have to. Live from Deltona, Florida, the Avatars themselves, Jack and Laz. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the nudes. So you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and yours for playing Shroud of the Avatar um, uh, on this glorious day because it's Friday, man. That's right. It's Friday. Truck Awesome Friday, and it's tax day, so if you've been uh, getting lax, you better get those yeah. returns in the mail and postmarked by today. Unless, of course, you yeah. filed for an extension, in which case, well, then you don't have to worry about it. I know mine were sent mm -hmm. out about a week and a half ago, so I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to worry about it. They should have it by now. But greetings and yes. welcome to today's show, boys and girls. Again, it is Fruck Awesome Friday and Noob Sky Blabber. Uh, 418, no, 15th. April 15th. Hits us up with a sub. <clears throat> 29 oh, oh. months in a row. Sweet. Thank you, Noob. Sweet, sweet. The real question, Noob, are we playing st uh, marbles or are we uh, uh, doing the Shroud news? Because we got a doozy for everybody. Would you say it's a doozy? Oh, uh, it, it's uh, a quite doozy of a game of marbles. In, 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 interesting. Oh, uh, Patty yeah. says she needs the news. Patty needs, needs the spanking. News. That's what she needs. Yeah, but, hey, but she's not a noob. Yeah, you'd enjoy it, and you know that. We we need the nudes, Thradia. <laughs> yeah. Spanking oh. first. That's yeah. correct. That's right. <laughs> spanking first. <laughs> Got, and I don't know about you, but, you know, I, I've got the nudes. I don't know about you, but, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So so what game of marbles are we playing? Noob hasn't said <laughs> anything. 
Okay. Did we just do a quick random track, he said. Random track. Random track. So I'm, I'm going to hit it three times just to make it really okay. random. One, two, three. The I'm, Twisting I'm gonna be playing Tumble. The, the MSLA Raceway. Oh, Get that's a good one. Exclamation mark play on both streams. Starting uh, off because some Friday we are just clicking right. start in three, two, one, start. And uh, Mika and uh, uh, Laz, do, redo the, the exclamation mark play. Oh, okay. You, I thought I got in. See, you said it go, go, works while it's loading. And you'd already hey, said man. the track, so I assumed I was in. Hey, and that's hey, right, hey. noob. Fun, fun first. Spanking's first. That's right. Spanking is fun. <laughs> Especially the way I do it. Ooh, baby. Okay. But yes, you got uh, 35 <laughs> seconds to get in on the action. Yes, Exclamation you play. Have 30 seconds to both get in. Sides. Exclamation. I love free shit. There'll be a game key giveaway on my side. And of course, exclamation bundle me. First streamer giveaway will be given away at the bottom of the hour. Second one will be given away at the top of the hour or the end of the show. Whichever comes first. Oh, yeah. That's not true. Yeah, 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 Whoever yeah, comes yeah, last. Yeah, you got to turn that down a okay. little. I can hear the echo. It's, it's down to 19%. <laughs> so I can say Good I'm listening luck. in on this, this meeting with. 30 other people. Make sure you're muted so they don't hear all the other stuff. Uh, like you. I am definitely muted. <laughs> and it keeps on telling me, your microphone is muted. Hey, Lily. Muted. L L muted. Okay. Tina in the early lead. Then assist. Until Crafty. At first. Oh, oh, went high and took the lead away from uh, Tina. Yeah. Let's see as they get, get ready to uh, get shot out like of the cannons. Oh. Yeah, and L Lily is sitting on my desk now. Waldo with the sub. Waldo with a sub. Oh, thank you, yay. Waldo. Guess that means we're going to be playing lots Sentinel of... Sentinel uh, ejected. Skyblaver ejected. And Waldo with 300 bits. Kicking off. Oh, not yet. Hype train is close. Oops, I went a little yeah. too far there. Tina, looks like he's running away with it. Well, Crafty is no. barely Finishes. ahead of Tina. Now, Tina's Takes back the in the lead. I have dropped from fourth to fifth place. Uh oh, I'm 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 jostling uh with Thradia. It, it's okay jostling. we're back there. Yeah, jostling, jostling. My balls are hitting uh Thradia. Might be a collision <laughs> that impact is imminent. And well though, thank you for the three hundred bits. You're gonna get yourself a copy of the black hole. Black hole. Complete edition and oh, bridge oh. troll with 300 bits. Oh, Starting it's, out it's that a hype day. train. It's a mobilist day. Port, portal, oh. whatever. Does the bridge troll want to portal it? Yeah. Th well, that's what he said. Portal, whatever. Portal, whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Waiting on those bits to make their way to my stream. I mean, uh, uh, uh. So there final go, well, lap though. has begun on 300 side. bits. Uh, what was that? That was actually a follow from. Yeah. How do we pronounce that name? C Crafty Method massive lead right now. Rune O Tenertain. Rune O Tenertain. Do I got that right? We're and almost it looks right. Looks like Crafty's got a couple more turns before he's victorious. And Waldo with 1,000 bits. Thank you, Waldo. Let's get Bridge Troll his game key, and then I will pick a game key for the. Uh... And Waldo said that he wanted the nudes. 
He wants the nudes. Yes, the news. Okay, well, that's that's cool. We can do that after we do the other ones. After we do the portal. And Ridge Troll is going to get himself and a copy of Rebel Miracle Galaxy. Happens, then Crafty is victorious. Time to send Crafty some scrolls. And then... Closing the giveaway, picking a winner. Oh. oh and oh, oh, Bad oh, oh, Pass. Oh, 300 bits from Waldo. Which means he's getting himself a Steam key for me while I'm mailing out scrolls to Crafty. Okay, Crafty, scrolls are coming up into your mailbox. Bad fast. You are going to get yourself a copy of opening the Easter egg. Virgo versus the Zodiac. Congratulations, okay. Bad and, fast. And the Steam key that <clears throat> Waldo is getting is Soldiers Heroes of World War II. You're quite welcome. Computer, go live. So there you go, Walda. Congratulations <laughs> there. Uh, then we have one more game. One more Two game because Waldo, Waldo wants news. He hit it with, with okay. sub and bits, so he wants news. So we're going to go ahead and do Portal Purgatory. Okay. Yes, for Portal the bridge troll. Purgatory. I got to go find it. That's what, track 34. But we did make level two hype train thanks to Waldo. So we will be giving away yeah. an extra, extra. And, and, and let's go see how much that game is worth real quick as well. Soldiers. Heroes. Of World War II, five bucks. And track number 35. For and Waldo hit another is... thousand bits. Thank you for news. He wants to make sure we get the news, but he also wants to make sure that we do some extra giveaways. Thank yes. you, Waldo. Yes. Hype trade level three or maybe level four. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> level two complete. Uh, okay. Where is that? Put us. Yay. We are clicking start in three, two. One start. Ten percent on level three. Thank you, Aldo. Love you, man. Love you. So, how's Laura doing? You all having fun this month? Hope all is well with both of you. <laughs> and someone actually just texted me. Did I hear a horn for a train wreck? <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, well, it, it, it's it's actually related to the meeting I'm in. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. And, yes, and you like, did. What did I miss? <laughs> but 30, we are down to seconds. 30 seconds exclamation mark play on both streams twitch.tv slash synesis twitch.tv slash nbn and news uh don't forget exclamation mark i love free shit exclamation mark bundle me and better to washington coast for the weekend for the weekend <laughs> Very cool. Well, enjoy yourselves out there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just the current speaker trying to spit out cohesive sentences. All right. Nice. And we're going to portal it. It happens. We are portaling. But we're dropping down the pegboard first. I was the first one out the pegboard on my side. And Laz didn't even bother doing exclamation mark play on my stream. I did I, not. I forgot. I was. I mean, even with the reminder, stuff. it's like it's way too complicated. <laughs> it's all this alt tabbing around everything. Ekondis now in the lead, but this is portal purgatory. No idea what's going to happen until we start portaling. Oh, we are portaling on this side. How? Wow, y'all you, you, you made it to the portals fast. Freebie bot ejected. 
Prankster fan Here. fan in for the win. Congratulations, what? Prankster. Congratulations. How close to a world record was that? I don't know. Uh, we'll find uh, okay, out but here. Ekondis was the very first person ejected on my side. We are portaling. And Prankster is actually here on the lot. So, Prankster, if you will step oh, on Thradia. over here. Thradia. Thradia is victorious. And Thradia is not on the set, so I've got to mail her scrolls. Congratulations, Thradia. Fan, fan. No world record. The record is... Uh, uh, 30. 33 and 37, respectively. Yeah. He did it in 49. Uh, okay. Congratulations. Uh, still pretty fast. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. There you go, prankster. Oh man, are, are, are we ready for the Tweeterverse? Uh, we're ready for something after I close this giveaway and pick a winner. Then, then we're going to go into that LinkedIn. I'm, I'm actually going to do something uh, that I don't normally do later on here, but freebie bot, you are the winner. And I don't think that I have uh, ever given you a game key. So let's get FreebieBot's name into the pool. And let's see what FreebieBot won as a freebie. He's won War Games Air Land Battle. War oh, Games man. Air Land Battle. As we get FreebieBot in here. Here we go. Get him his game key. Yes. But uh, thanks to Waldo, what I'm going to do, uh, Pipe Train is going to end in about 30 seconds at level 3. Unless, of course, somebody changes that. But uh, I will give away a couple extra game keys for the thousand and thousand bits that Waldo that we would have done races for that we're not doing because he wants news today. So I will yeah. give extra game keys away as the hype train ends on level three, which means I will be giving away a copy of Rise of Industry 2130 worth $9.99 and a copy of Murder by Numbers worth $14.99 for getting to level three today. And a couple extra game keys because Waldo. So everybody thank Waldo for the extra yeah. raffles at the end of the show today because it's oh, yeah. due to him that we're doing of, all those of, extra ones. Of. That's right. So let's get to today's news. We're going to start out some place we don't Twitter visit. Verse. We don't visit a lot. No, we're not starting out the Twitterverse. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You want to just dive right into the LinkedIn? We're diving right on in. Oh, man. Man. Because news that's not reported anywhere else, Chris Pierce's LinkedIn profile has him listed as the chief technology officer of Dometa for the last four months. Go figure. Huh. Go figure and helping Todd Porter and Richard Garriott build a strong technology and design foundation for an amazing new online role-playing game. Yeah. Yeah. Now, th th this actually brings up an interesting thing related to, what wasn't there a stream a month ago where Chris was answering all those questions related to Portalarium and Portalarium's whatever and how he bought the game and that he was going to continue on and everything was going good and it's like hey we're doing awesome we're going to keep on pushing all this stuff out um <laughs> all, all that what, what didn't that happen like a month ago uh, something like that and, and me, all these promises and assurances that, you know what, we're we're still working on episode two. We don't have an exact timeline. We don't have these things. Um, so comments from the peanut gallery. Mika says, helping the competitor build a better than his own product. 
yeah. Holly Holly says traitor. Uh, well, again, uh, Holly, again, one of those things we're gonna po I'm gonna point out is that it's Chris's belief that this game is going to help bring an influx of players into Shroud of the Avatar. And I said this uh, yesterday, today, before when we first got wind of this, um, that, and I alluded to the fact that I had some information about some stuff that I couldn't verify because it wasn't verifiable until Chris went ahead and outed himself on this because before the news articles hit, uh, as we also stated yesterday, Chris didn't have to say he was working on this whatsoever. And as soon as the news of Richard's new game hit, of course, he started texting everything that he possibly could everywhere and outed himself as working on this project, um, which, again, <clears throat> he did not have to do. So I don't know why he did. He could have just... That yeah, yeah, Richard's working on a new project, but that's not going to affect our project. If anything, it may help our project. And he could have just stopped there, but he didn't. So I'm going to encourage everybody to make sure that they tune in for today's live stream and ask all those hard questions that you've got that we don't have the answers to because uh, he is the chief technology officer on this new game. So um, he believes, again, as I was stating, that I had some information that I understood that they were working with a gaming company. I didn't know whether it was going to be a sale, whether it was going to be a merger, whether it was going to be something, but apparently this was the news that I was aware of, that this was supposed to bring more players to Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, how that's going to happen, I don't quite understand, unless, of course, it's the fact that it's an NFT game, and nobody's going to want to play that, so they're going to come over here. That might just be the, the rub there. We don't know. That's right. Don't lawyer me, bro. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we, got, we got some news to cover, so let's just get to covering the news because no, it, there, there well, are pros, be, be, there before, are cons, before we move on, it, it's like... Um, the uh, Bridge Trolls, like, Lord British left this game ages ago. And Chris is clear. Chris now is clearly known to be less than 100% here. Well, he already stated that uh, yeah. in his postings. Again, he did yes. not have to post but any of that. I, I actually want to go to a specific tweet um, from Chris from the other day. Um, you may not. It, it, it was actually buried in and I can't remember if we actually covered uh, this actual tweet. I believe we covered them all. Well, yeah. Let's get out to him real quick. <clears throat> um, and he's talking about Shroud of the Avatar. Um, um, massive amounts learned on my part for sure. Sadly, the biggest challenge Shroud faced was something we already knew. It which, is which really post hard are we to... on? It helps if you tell me which post you're on. Well, I linked. I, I posted it in the green room. Well, I'm not looking down there. Uh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> just click that link. I, I, I did. I, I'll take I, you straight I, to that I'm, tweet. I'm looking at the tweeterverse. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's the amounts learned on my part for sure. Yeah. Sadly, the biggest challenge Shroud faced was something we already knew. It is really hard to make a game when you can't plan because you don't know what your runway is. We did it anyways. New game will be well funded though. Okay. See, that is like saying that the Kickstarter the tw runway. The tw the tw 20, $20 million raised through Kickstarter wasn't well funded, right? Yeah, that, thank well, you, Ridge well, Yeah. Ri <clears throat> well, it, it's not just that, but y you have to remember that that 20 million wasn't at the end of Kickstarter. The no, it there was, was 12 million, million 12, 12 million up front, which should have been you know, quite quite enough to get things uh, planned out in advance, in my yes, my yes. opinion. Yeah. It, but they did rent they they only raised about 1. 2, 2 million, million from the 1. Kickstarter. 1.2 million from the Kickstarter. 1.2 million. Yeah. But they had cash from before that uh to pay thing for things. From there, you you have, okay, based off of this amount of money, this is the type of game we can develop. 
you, you, you know what? It's not our fault that over promises were made. The feature creep, uh, scope creep, whatever you want to call it, and the lack of direction through the iterations caused issues with the, the development. I It doesn't help when you don't complete a single game system. Yeah, the runway. Yeah. But yes, Soda did raise over $20 million in total through the life cycle. But we can go all the way back to Chris's t comments about, hey, you know what? The, the, the problem is that runway of having that funding up front. That's also a fallacy because that doesn't mean that you're promised that for indefinitely because you know what? That funding can get pulled at any point in time as well because look at the history of games and how many have actually been canceled in midstream. Never seen the lights of day. Yeah. Anyway, we got lots of news to get on to, so enough side side tracking and derailing this here. Let's yeah. get to uh, what is it? PC games, the first oh, one. PC games. Let me go find that one. Da, 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 da. This this is the first breaking story, which then spurred, and I'm yes. just go I'm just going to flip through <clears throat> all of the. Uh, well, I, I closed uh, a bunch other of ones here. Yeah, the Ultima tabs, Codex but, yeah. has got one. Uh, Jux Online has got a story. Uh, PC Gamer has got a story. Uh, that MMORPG, was MMORPG. MMORPG OP. has got two different stories. Uh, PC Games is the one we're talking about. And then PC Gamer has a brand new story as well as the MMORPG. But we're going to start with PC games. Yeah. Yes, and it's very sad that Chris went to the other project was trying to get investors to fix Soda. The, the problem with that is Chris's attitude towards RMG. monetization and yeah, uh, attracting yeah. players and Monetization in general? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, yeah. we don't want to monetize and we don't want RMT, <clears throat> but I'm going to go jump on a new game that's nothing but and RMT, baby. RMT, yeah. baby. Yeah. But the Ultima series of... All right, Alex, let's start with the title for this PC games in Ultima's creators making a new MMO and it's built on NFTs. The Ultima series of role playing games has been foundational for video games, but not once, but at least twice. The original series pioneered a path that Western RPGs would follow for dec decades and Ultima Online was the provide proving grounds for many of the best ideas and solutions solutions in MMORPGs today. Now the series creator is going for the hat trick. Richard Garriott, known to Ultima fans as Lord British, is making another MMO, but this time it's going to be built using blockchain technology. Garriott is working with longtime collaborator Todd Porter. Okay, Ultima so... Ultima 6. Ultima 6, um, I think, was the last time that they actually worked together. That was the only time they worked together, as far as I understand. Oh, but, only time. I mean, that, um, that, that's where they, if they worked together before that, I'm not aware of it. I just know that he worked on Ultima 6 with Richard. That's, yeah. yeah. And, and the, the, fun, the fun part um, is that if you don't remember who Todd Porter is, he's actually well known in the, the, the games community as the CEO of Ion Storm that got fired... Um, and having a bunch of his like emails leaked uh, where he was calling a bunch of developers, shit developers, uh, tried to sell a Lotus uh, to make room for a Ferrari in his garage, um, a brand new Ferrari, the day before announcing massive layoffs at Ion Storm and some other things. Either he and Really there. nice guy. <clears throat> huh? Moving, move, moving right along. Yeah. And the pair say they're aware of the problems cryptos brings with it, both in terms of te the technology itself and its reputation with players. 
There's not really any good NFT games right now, in my opinion, Porter tells us. I've not seen anything that I felt has really held up any gameplay, Gary agrees, and says part of it that is down to the fact that it's still early days. There haven't, hasn't been enough time since NFTs became a major fad for anyone to develop a strong title based on the technology. Um, is that because NFTs are a fad? <clears throat> is that because nobody trusts MFTs after all the ripoffs that have happened with them? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, what, what, what really kills me is that, uh, and it goes <laughs> to Bitcoin as well, if the blockchain is so great and you're able to track everything, how are people able to rip off hundreds of millions of dollars in blockchain if you're supposed to be able to track it through every step of the process? If I stole it from you, then you should have a tracking blockchain that says I stole well, it from you, you and you should be able to come right to me and go, you're under arrest. So why isn't this happening all over the world? And people oh, yeah. get, and, get, and, get, and, yeah. and the fu the funny part, party one just made made this comment. EverQuest had a setup like Shroud Marketplace. Why won't Chris just buy Shroud Marketplace and add tech to the game where you can place items you're selling in a hopper? And when someone buys it for cash and it auto mails or transfers the lot POT to the buyer and takes a cut of each sale. Uh, we, all the, the pay to earn the players thing. will come to soda, more funds. Yeah. We get to episode fives. We've been saying that for, yeah. I don't know, since the beginning. <laughs> <clears throat> for what? Five years. Uh, again, we've been saying, make the pixel crack, make it limited time. Like the monthly logins, make them tradable. And then after they're gone, you know, if I've got five of them, well, then when people come to secondary market, you know, or just anything, I buy them. If I'm buying 20 of them now, you got paid for 20 of them. You're not guaranteed that new people are going to come in and want that stuff. You know, but you yeah, know, I've, I've got uh, a handful of uh, Lord British Silver Serpent Rings just sitting in my inventory. And the, even the, though I've those got necklaces them, that aren't displayed, yeah. So necklaces, um, sorry, yeah. But yeah. I've got them, but doesn't mean everybody wants them. You, I thought people would want them. I've got loads of original hot tubs. Yeah, you know, I, I thought people would want them, but uh, apparently, when you have other hot tubs for sale, uh, you know, people don't want the originals. But yeah. Um. But yeah. So. Garriott's and Porter's approach to designing stop, a game stop, with stop, blockchain. Stop! 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 stop. Time for us to pull a giveaway before oh, we move on. Oh, oh, yeah. We are just a minute or two over that time. So we are going to close out the streamer bundles. We are going to pick a oh. winner. And, and Lomir. Ollie Hawk, you are the winner. Two days in a row. Go Lomir. And whoever was playing music, you're stuck in a loop. Yeah, so yeah, please stop it. It's Selenia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Game probably Ollie crashed Hulk. or something. Oh, yep. No, just or the, the AFK game. timer broke. Yeah. Hey, but Ollie. giveaway is back open. Yes. Yeah, NFTs are just a fucking mistake. Um, but going back to this article, there's not really, uh, let's see, Garriott's and Porter's approach to designing a game with blockchain is different from others we've seen, but the existing experience haven't gone particularly well so far. Hackers absconded with 600 million worth of Axie uh, Infinity NFTs in March. 600 million. <clears throat> yeah. And NFT Marketplace Object.com records 27 total sales of Ubisoft's Quartz NFTs, which it minted for Ghost Recon Breakpoint a couple few months back prior to the end. 27. The, the fun part is Shroud Marketplace has more sales than that. Um, yeah, in a week, right? <laughs> a few months prior to announcing the end of new content development. Ubisoft, however, appears undeterred. The game Garriott and Porter are working on is in the early stages of production and doesn't have an official name yet, but it will be a modern spin on the familiar Ultima format, a top-down isometric fantasy RPG 
Porter says they've secured traditional sources of funding for the game's development, but will supplement that with an NFT-based land sale. Supposedly starting within the next month. Yeah. Supposedly. That, this is word on the street. I Does, have no actual confirmation of this, but that is sounds, the word on sounds, the street. Sounds, sounds very similar to a game that you may have heard of before. It's called Shroud of the Avatar. Except for the isometric. Um, players no, this, in- this is a new game altogether. I don't yeah, think there was game, ever yeah. any any VR 3D discussion for this new game since it doesn't even have a name yet. Yeah, yeah. It, it, brand new game, new project. Chris Spears is the CTO. Lord British production. And some guy that worked on Ultima 6. Um, players interested in owning part of the game will be able to purchase specific chunks of it as NFTs. The concept art uh, Garriott and Porter shared with PC Games in shows detailed square plots of land that look like they've been dug up and lifted off the surface of a miniature fantasy world complete with layers of topsoil and the underlying rock. I, it, we, some concept art shows the land packaged in attractive gift boxes. Ooh. Attractive gift boxes. Yeah, that kind of looks like shit. Pretty look, shiny pixels. Pretty the, the, shiny the, pixels. The, the, the funny part is you're looking at that picture, they spent more on the gilding of the box than, than the uh, actual design of the land. Pre-made um, assets, man. Pre-made yeah, assets. Pre-made, pre-made assets, yes. Owners will be able to... Unity Asset Store to the rescue. <laughs> um, crafty mess. I think the crux is if they plan to intersect the two projects. No, they do not. Yes. Yes. I, I, Necronut, I am aware of that comment that most of the devs who left were shit. Um, he did become the CEO of Ion Storm until he was fired. Um, yes, it would be a competitor of Shroud of the Avatar. Um, uh, owners will be able to build shops or inns on their property or even create a portal to a dungeon level they've created. It's all very similar to this game that we play called Shroud mm, of the yeah, Avatar. Yeah, so- sounds really familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Not only that, but the con economics of that thing benefit you directly under this system, Garriott says. For example, if you happen to be the owner of an NPC-run pub in town, you could get the economic reward just by virtue of having helped it come into existence. Um. What? Yeah, continue reading. Yeah. The plan is to give landowners and proprietors a high degree of control over what's available on their plots of land. A black ship's Blacksmith shop might offer unique sword designs, drawing players from around the land willing to spend lots of coin. This could have a knock-on effect of making adjacent plants more commercially viable as well. Valuable. Um, yeah, if that sounds a bit like creating a crypto-backed owner class of in-game landlords, Garriott says that's not really a new phenomenon in games. Ultima Online famously developed a lively secondary market for items and notably housing plots in high traffic locations. In Let's Ultima get to, Online, yeah, the, to the meat and when, potatoes, yeah. The, when the, people started the, buying the and selling shops on eBay, we had to go through the trouble of going like, well, how do you feel about it? Do we want to stop it because we haven't guaranteed that the sale will actually be persistent and we're not getting anything out of it? Gary explains. No. What was yeah, UO's the, the, response the, the, to? There, there they in were lies the rub. Accounts. Stop, stop that. Yeah. There in lies the rub, and we were not getting anything out of it. Something again that Chris dropped the ball on with that, you know, with the the marketplace idea. But you know, yeah, his his fix to that was to charge a twenty percent premium to unlock stuff, which uh, I don't know how many of you people like heritage to pay items. Twenty percent premium to sell something that you've already bought. Um, I don't, and uh, I won't. Uh, you know, if you want to make a cut in the secondary sta- sale, you open your own marketplace, or you just do with charging. Yeah. Yeah. You know, instead of charging one tenth of what something used to sell for, like uh, the original Pavilion was selling for up to one hundred and twenty dollars to one hundred fifty dollars on the secondary market, 
and then you bring it back and sell it for nineteen dollars. Uh, you could have been selling them for eighty to a hundred dollars just regularly and made all that extra money, but no, we decided to make them twenty bucks because we don't want the secondary market to exist and we lost money. Yeah. Hey, A losing proposition. Tr Trodmarketplace.com. That's right. Um, Garrity explains. <clears throat> Garrity explains. All we got from people trading items is risk and complaints. Using blockchain as a way to just to clarify the economics in a way that is very fair and consistent between the players who are buying, selling, and trading these virtual assets. Uh, you, 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 you're absolutely silly. Um, I don't know. Again, I have I haven't seen enough. But finish finish this up because he's got some the, points here that pique my interest. The, let's say. The value blockchain adds, as Garriott and Porter explain, is that it provides a unified system for players to become financially involved in the game from what is traditionally the crowdfunding stage through to the post-launch live service phase. In the past, developers and publishers had to rely on small constellation of separate platforms to handle the various stages of fundraising and monetization. Kickstarter for raising capital, eBay for gray market player trades, Steam or another storefront selling the game itself. Shroudmarketplace.com for secondary market. Forget eBay. Shroudmarketplace.com. You won't find any shrouded avatar stuff on eBay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and eBay hasn't school. really been a thing for, for a very, very, very long time. I don't believe eBay even supports uh, di yeah. digital, digital trades anymore. Yeah. Uh, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bridge Troll yeah. says so. Now the no visits I get could generate real money. Uh, technically, exactly. well, yeah. Well, I mean, considering the press so far, the fact that if you're you're a, if you buy into this early land rush, you you, you might you might have um, nothing or less than nothing. A necronut. Uh, he won't even have the bits. Read read Necronet's comments there, starting okay. from maintenance mode. It's in maintenance mode at least, and I'm curious if Chris Chris will avoid saying that. He Absolutely. Already he already said it. He already said it not, indirectly. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Yeah. Now it, it would be interesting if someone on the live stream asked the question: How many full time developers are working on Trout of the Avatar? We already know the answer to that question. Everybody is working a few hours and that's it. Um, and, and Chris, and, and the fact that Chris is very dishonest about what's going on, the fact that four months ago he accepted the CTO rule role and didn't even tell anybody about it, but it's on his LinkedIn page. Um, and until a, the pr articles about this shit come out, He's like, whatever. Well, um, four months ago is when he pro promised to promise less and deliver more, right? That was yes. approximately the same exact time that happened because, uh, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. In, in, in the things that, like the, his comment on uh, Twitter about the, hey, man, we really don't have a runway. We don't have a plan. Um, whose fault is that? Continue with Necronaut. Okay, remember Richard saying soda should, would, and could have free shards like you owe? I wonder if if that promise will be kept. No. Uh, no Richard nobody also ever told that. Uh, Marky Dragon that soda would be a good investment. Oops. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Marky, like us, jumped on that investment. And, uh, of course, Marky has since bailed many, many years ago. Yes. I don't think I've seen Marquis do a live stream of soda in at least two years. Uh, you know, maybe even longer. I haven't seen Marquis uh, do any Shroud of the Avatar streaming. But uh, yeah. uh, Do I think that uh, uh, Winston or Ravelox or Devacult uh, are going to take over Shroud and keep it up and running? Um, that's hard to say because... Uh, Winston is retired. Uh, he is, but 
I don't know if uh, he would have, he would probably want to keep the project alive. Um, I think Devil Cult would be the man, that's for sure. Yeah. But that's 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 all speculation, so let's not go there. Yeah. yeah. The one, I mean, thing, that, the one that, thing out yeah. of the PC game article, and I'm going to scroll back a little bit here, um, was where he says, uh, where is it? The Black Ships Shop. Uh, a blacksmith shop might offer unique sword designs, drawing players from around the lands willing to spend lots of coin. This this sort of hits me as saying that this this is something that I thought we were going to get in Shroud almost like Second Life. If the blacksmith hey. is able to make a unique sword, then that means they might be able to craft it externally and then import it to sell their own uniquely branded swords in the blockchain, which would then make for one hell of an interesting concept, if that is such the case. Yeah, but, uh, uh, that, th that is your promise, Dukehead. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, yeah. We it, well, in, in, in the the fun part is, like, the this entire premise would actually be all based off of unique items. Okay, even well, in Tina, Shroud, that that would be up to the yeah. creator to do the art, of course. Uh, you know, it's not really, yeah. you know. Uh, oh, I, I'm not excited. I'm yeah. Yeah. Again, again it, it depends on what their model is using, what their uh, engine is. Um, it, there's a lot of things there. I mean, if they were going, and I'm just going to use Unity as an example, there are plenty of items on the Unity store that you could take off the store by yourself and then modify and and play with and create a whole unique item and then be able to insert it as your own. Or if if you happen to be an artist, you know person uh one of the first things i did when this game came out was i grabbed a copy of unity and started playing with it so that i had some semblance of what was going to be done because i was of the opinion that that was what we were going to be able to do but that ch path yeah. immediately changed and forked off to we're not going to do that wouldn't be prudent so um yeah but I still like the potential for it. That's all I'm going to say on that right now. But uh, we don't know. This is all speculation. This is all brand spanking new. And this is all the news media, including us, uh, you know, giving you our, our take on what we've seen and what we're reading and what we've got out of this, uh, all of these press releases and all these articles. Uh, this was part of a press release all the other articles are speculation on what well, the press release had to say some so. of them are actual interviews uh because but, remember that mmorpg tried to have an interview with richard and but didn't and, but didn't because in that interview agreement they were not al allowed to ask questions about shroud of the avatar right. and portalarium and I wouldn't count we, on it, party one. Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the, they're, I mean, considering that Richard is pretty much not even interested in Shroud of the Avatar, um, I'm surprised the game still says Lord British's um, Shroud of the Avatar uh, on there. It was, it was his game, his concept, uh, his it name. Was, yeah. It was, was, yeah. Was, yeah, uh, just yeah, just but, because he sold Ultima online to EA doesn't mean it's not a Lord British production. I mean, yeah. yeah. Anyway, moving and, right and along. I, I accidentally closed that article. Okay. Oops. You need a link to I it again. Restore it, huh? I was gonna say. I was gonna say you should be able to restore it. Yeah. History. Okay, where was I? Uh, I think we were uh, at blockchain, uh, uh, crypto, yeah, skepticism. Let's Using blockchain lets lets us unify that whole path. It lets us make sure that the path is persistent and could be managed outside of our games. When people say they want to be trading things, hypothetically, eBay or some other crypto exchange or within the game, fundamentally we should be agnostic, which we are in this case.
Oh, well, man. again, again oh. it, it, I, I have a tough time wrapping my head around how something from in that game gets tracked, you know, say on a shroud so marketplace.com oh. or, or, or eBay or, you know, and, and well, then how do you take it out of the game? Because apparently well, so, they're they're insinuating that you could literally take the item out of the game and display it. Yeah. So, moving on, let's finish this article for today because I think we'll. Okay, Porter and Garriott say they understood the skepticism with which players have regarded many crypto-based games to date. There are these are misgivings. Both men say they've shared the design of their yet unnamed MMO is informed by that skepticism. They say in the game isn't meant to get more people involved in the crypto ecosystem. Garriott says there are still too many problems with that to expect players to want to interact with it at all. And there lies the rub. Mm hmm. I happen wow. to be a cryptocurrency investor myself, Garriott says. I find investing in it to be incredibly complicated and difficult. So we have no illusions to think that we want to expect players to know or care or think about the blockchain. We will handle all that behind the scenes. Crypto investing isn't difficult. It was like years ago, but not it's more. It's still not easy. You got to create a wallet. You got to keep and maintain the wallet. You got to know which which places to buy and sell and trade and hey, where, hey, where to cash no, it so, out. So, so there's a difference. Investing is the different than exchanging. Okay. You, you've because, done both. Yeah, can you I, use I've the prison both. wallet? <laughs> yeah, no. You, well, no, you, actually, you can use the prison wallet if you have a cold storage um, for for that thing. And in, in you know who just got AFK kicked off the lot again? Me, yeah, because you, I got a you, disconnect you, sign. You also got locked up on uh, Zoom for some reason. Oh, it, it's the game. Um Blockchain has the same issues with gas, the fees associated with trades, that we do in the real world. It's getting more and more expensive and changes fucking daily in, in minute to minute. Porter adds, so it would be impractical for us to design a game where every object with was existing on the blockchain, it would be cost prohibitive. Um, Gary says he hopes the system will ultimately re reward players who decide to build and create new content and experiences. If you make a play space that's super popular, well, I hope you make a lot of money at that because that means we have a lot of happy players in there, he says. So that's really where our mind is going. How can we provide direct value to players that is purposefully monetized in real dollars regularly? It's when they're contributing to the actual fun factor and the actual acquisition of players. See, th this entire article says, we don't know what the fuck game we want to design. We're trying to look to find ways that players can make money off of it. Kind of like this game called Shroud of well, the I, Avatar, I've, I've, where I've highlighted land this last is sentence. rare. So, uh, this, so that's really where our mind is going. How we can provide direct value to players that is purposefully... Monetized, monetized in real, in real dollars, dollars regularly. regularly. Listen to that advice, Chris, since you're the CTO, and maybe apply yeah. some of that advice here, uh, is all I'm going to say. Uh, monetized in real dollars regularly so that people can use the secondary market. You sell Pixel Crack. We buy Pixel Crack. We hoard it for later people who come who did not get a chance to buy it the first time and we monetize regularly. Um, that's, you know, that's part of it. And of course I would venture to guess that, uh, they will, they will stick with the rares. Uh, wait, wait, what, what's racist? Huh? What's racist? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't pay attention uh, to him because he's not right. Uh, <laughs> he's just joking. 
you know, oh, yeah. I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got time to be distracted by comments of racism when we're not even talking about anything related to it. So, again, that's that's why it, it's just not right. That's why I won't deal with them. And, you know, not 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 worth the time or energy. But uh, that was the original story that came out and broke the other day. And again, we have loads and loads of other stories, but uh, I'd just like to talk about the possibilities that may be available with this, which are things like bringing your own um, deco uh, items, uh, swords, armor, um, and of the like to be able to sell in said shop. Um, Again, Ultima Online did it, and uh, one of the reasons why I jumped in here was hopefully for Lightning to Strike twice like Ultima Online did. With the land being as rare as it was supposed to be, and buying in early, but of course, uh, we know we've got more land than will ever get used after we sold yeah. many, many more player-owned towns than we should have ever sold in the beginning. And continue to sell player owned towns, which is continually creating more spots for players that don't exist right now. So that 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 land scarcity just does not exist if we continue to sell well, player owned towns. <clears throat> well, n not not just that. I mean, it, the the entire premise of Shroud and the changing of uh, things th th that are never supposed to happen that consistently happen. And and why do I keep on getting network disconnected from Shroud? Yeah, you've got, uh, again, you keep getting hung up on uh, Zoom as well. You keep know, stuttering, it's... looking like Max Headroom uh, a couple times there. That's right. Make sure you're bundled up. Internet, Make sure man. you're raffled up because don't you have fiber over there? No, I've got gigabit internet from spectrum so it's got like a, a 40 megabyte upload or something like that 40 oh. or 80 i can't remember a little better than mine yeah but a th thousand megabits per second uh down better than but my yeah, 200 I mean, it, anyway. so so many problems with this monetization strategy that and then you've got the the guy that's the CTO who absolutely hates RMT. Yeah, I I don't has I done don't, everything I don't, I, to I, destroy I, it. I don't get it personally. I really don't get how he can sign it, on for an RMT game when he's done virtually everything to uh, stop us from doing RMT in this other game, and. It, it, not only that, but the entire premise of Shroud was centered around RMT. Yeah, I've got a two Land. and a half hour video on, on RMT uh, from With Richard. Richard and Star. Yeah, and Star. Yeah, and uh, yeah, wh why RMT was important? Why Richard bought gold in World of Warcraft? Why Richard believes time equals money? Money equals yes. time, uh, and. Uh, if you want to see that, just go out to the BMC convention. It, go to nbnn.info, so go to the BMC it, convention link. Selenia, if he didn't like not getting money from it, and that's the reason that he killed it, easy method, fucking implement a marketplace into your game. Every yeah. item is unique other than gold because all of it has back-end coding that's where you every All item is value. identifiable yeah again charging 20 percent to package heritage items was his way of him making money again we we argue the fact that when you make something a rare and people like jack and i buy 20 of them because we know they're rares you're going to sell x amount more because it wasn't just jack and i doing this it was jack i and yeah. hundreds of other people doing this knowing that they were only going to be around for that one point in time. So we I, hoarded them for re resale later, which was putting thousands and I, thousands of dollars in the coffers I, over and Laz, over and over. bring up your game and, and click on that bu button that says rewards, okay? That shows a bunch of the shit that it's like, 
was purchased by us from the different oh, no. times. I, I, I'll, I'll go one better than that. I'll, I'm going to go yeah. to I'm going to go to the Shroud of the Avatar webpage. Let's let's oh, go ahead. Yeah. Let, let, let's go over here and I, we'll, we'll, I'll just right. show you a little taste of the kind of money that we were spending. Let's go over. Yeah. I got a login. Let, let, let me here. go click on login myself. Yeah. And, and we'll we'll give you an idea of you know what we're talking about here. Want to buy ten ducks? That's right. Let's go to my account. Let's go I'm, to I'm my just trying 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 to, trying to get that up, etc. So that way I'm not showing the uh, my account number. Ooh. Yeah. But it's like you start going through. It's like scroll, 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 and it's yeah. like it. Here, let's let's give you an idea, okay? And we'll get this over here. It, it's it's like ten you, bucks, I twenty mean, bucks, twenty like, bucks, twenty like, bucks, forty bucks, fifty bucks. Yeah, all these are items that I bought in cash, and I'm gonna be scrolling a long time there. Hundred sixty-five bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks, eighty-five bucks, hundred bucks, hundred bucks, hundred bucks, fifty bucks, fifty bucks, thirty-five bucks. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, 10, 35. I mean, you get the idea that, and again, there's, you know, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of purchases. These are micro transactions, and you'll notice that some of them are $100 transactions. Uh, uh, here's these, these that stream where I, I yeah. fucking, oh, wait, maybe that was 600. Yeah, $800, no, wait, $700, $800, $700 of, like, castle, of castle walls yeah. during one stream. And it's like, and there's a bunch yeah. of merit fitness emotes in there, which were zero. Yeah, yeah which we did. And but, yeah, it, but it is it is one where it's like, you know what? They they got they don't understand their own fucking business model when they're killing all the rares. And then not only that, let's let's go over to uh, let me get over to gifts. Let's let's see how many gifts I sent and received on this one account it's just on the one account let's let's see gifts do i have a whole bunch of gifts on this account yeah and then you know a whole bunch of gifted items you now that were all sales yeah, from one account to another. And this, again, rolls on and on and on and on. These are all digital monetary purpose purchases that we made, as you can see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it just, yeah, we, we spent a lot of money doing this because of the way it was monetized originally. And then, uh, uh, oh, yeah, how about, well, I'll, I'll throw in the, uh, you know, the subscriptions on top of that that uh, I've been uh, doing for 46 months since day one. I'm, I'm one of the few, I think, that have been doing it since day one. And of course, uh, then I will, I will, yeah. Do I wanna show the pledges? I only have the one pledge here, which was a $5,300 pledge. And of course my player owned towns, which were about $3,000 worth of towns. Uh, you get the idea, people. We, we spent a lot of money investing and buying stuff then all of a sudden they made it worthless well chris made it worthless uh by undercutting yeah. it selling things for dirt cheap and then of course making things heritage which of course ruined it for everybody so it, it, but, you, you know what y'all get to watch chris's live stream later we do have yeah. to get out of here because uh we we got to do a bunch of giveaways we're, we're at least i got it i got to do a bunch of giveaways yeah, uh i just looked at the time and uh yeah, uh, we are we over are time. I knew I knew we were going to go over time again. I know the guy who owns the radio station. He don't yeah, give a yeah. crap. But T Tina won the uh, uh, whatever that gamer bundle on air gamer bundle. So that's being sent. And the Bosic new day won the Steam key. is our winner for our streamer bundle. Congratulations, Dead New Day. He's right here. So let me give him that real quick. Dead New Day Soul Destroyer. There he is. That's Ekondas. Dead, come then, over here. Uh, let, let's see. Sea Legends Phantasmal Light Collector's Edition going to Deblosic. 
So Sea Legends, Phantasmal Light Collector's Edition, also five bucks. There you but go, Dead New Day. Congratulations to you. And then there we got go. a whole bunch of giveaways to do. You gonna get out of here? You, you got a yeah, meeting? Got to. So yeah, we'll yeah, say yeah. goodbye to Jack for now. We'll do our sign off in just a minute because I gotta do all these extra giveaways. So let me get those queued up. Uh, don't forget the uh, end of stream giveaway as I close these out. Let's go ahead and close that out. Giveaways. Oh shit. I never uh never did that, so uh, everybody's going to have to type in, I love free shit real quick. I never opened it. <laughs> We're going to go extra overtime. Everybody who wants to get in on these giveaways, type in, I love free shit real quick. I'll give you all about 30 seconds. I know most of you who are paying attention will be doing it, so don't have to worry about that. You guys want these goodies. But we will be giving away a copy of Rise of Industry 2130 worth $9.99. Be giving away a copy of Murder by Numbers worth $14.99. Plus, I'll be giving away an extra four game keys thanks to uh, Waldo for his uh, 2,000 bits donations today. That would have uh, resulted in four game keys being given away for marbles, but he wanted the news today. So everybody, get in. I'll give you another couple seconds. Make sure everybody is in on this. And don't forget to make some time. Go in and ask those hard questions today on today's live stream because it uh, might be your only chance to ask those questions from Chris himself and uh, find out whether or not uh, he's going to actually answer those questions. So I will be trying to listen in. That's usually about what time I do dinner. So, uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. So we will, we will find out if not, I will catch it later on, but, uh, I will definitely do my best to try and be there. All right. I think everybody's had that chance to type it in. If not your SOL. So let's go ahead and get her done. We're going to close out the giveaway. Good luck to everybody. Uh, Devlosa getting in just in time. There you go. First winner, end of stream giveaway, Ovagami. Ovagami, you're going to get yourself a copy of A Year of Rain. You're going to get A Year of Rain. Congratulations. Next four are going to be thanks to Waldo. Going to pick ourselves a wiener. Mondravis, Mondravis, you are going to get yourself a copy of Caravan. Next winner going to be Holly Hook. Holly Hook, you are going to get yourself a copy of Goodbye Desponia. Congratulations, Holly. Next winner going to be Virtuous. Virtuous is going to get himself a copy of Men of War, Red Tide, and the last regular giveaway is going to be going to Deblosic. Deblosic is going to get himself a copy of Black Guards. And then our Hype Train giveaways, Rise of Industry 2130 is going to go to Gorix. Gorix is going to get that. And our last one, Murder by Numbers. For the hype train is going to go out to Spawn for Egg. All right. Congratulations, Spawn for Egg. You got murdered by numbers. And that is going to be all for today. We are way, way over time. And thank you all for your support. Thank you for tuning in and listening to NBNN. Of course, thank you, Waldo, for the extra love today. Love you, man. And, uh, of course, without your support, we wouldn't be here. But it is Fruck Awesome Friday. I've got to run. I'm Laz. Jack had to get out of here. And we are NBNN. We'll be back with more on Monday. So have a great weekend, everybody. And we will see you all on Monday. <laughs>